Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. My name's Breezy. We're here. We just finished a battle on this route. I just finished an eight-hour stream. I'm a little, a little loopy right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but we're here, and we're gonna continue this run. And we're gonna keep battling some peoples because we are underleveled. Gonna get some experience, and I think do a totem today, maybe? Pretty sure we're close to doing a totem battle. Kind of forgot where we were. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of like on Adele. Okay. Um. Yeah, I kind of forgot like where we're at exactly right now, <laughs> but I think we're good. Intimidate Naganadel. <sighs> I'm gonna oblivion mine. Not worried. I'm not scared of you. I'm a little scared of you. That was a little scary. Not gonna lie. That's good damage though. Good damage. I think I flame charge into Oblivion Wing. And I think it does enough. Because then I'll outspeed you after one. Nasty plot. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Um Yeah, I need to level up my Tynamo and my Whalmer. We just got the Giglith in the last episode. He evolved. And yeah. If we're that close to a totem battle, I might be in shambles, actually. That's a little scary. That is a little scary. Mm -mm. Um, hmm. Water pulse. Who wants some water pulse? Sidecar. Let's get rid of whirlpool. Let's get rid of whirlpool. I don't know how many trainers there really are right now for me to grind against. Can I get them over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Key berry. You. You. Fight me. Fight me, copper. Um, also, I realized I had adjusted my recording settings. No one said a single word. Maybe that's why the guy complained about my talking too much. Not a single person said there was no game audio. Why do you, do you guys only care about my voice? I mean, I like it. I appreciate it. I think that's very flattering. But I had changed my recording settings for when I stream because I... Oh, those are great. Oh, that's so annoying. I think you can't one-shot me with anything, though, to be honest. You detect. That's actually amazing, because now I get extra leftovers, and I think I'm safe. Um, During my live streams, I usually have, like, little background music playing. And once in a while, it if it's, like, too loud or too quiet, well, usually if it's too loud, when I send my clips in to get edited, the background noise kind of just, like, interferes, and it's, like, hard to do anything with it. So my editor asked if I could record it. If I could record without capturing the music audio. Oh my Lanta, dude. Two crits. That's more likely to get the ancient power boost than the crit. And you got two crits. Oh my god. Anyway, I record now, so it's only my audio that gets recorded. So when I send him the clips, he can put background audio in and like put music in. You guys see the clips. You know, usually do like a standard Pokemon mu music or something like that, just to keep it standard or consistent. Um, and I forgot that I started doing that and I didn't flip it back when I started recording these videos. So the last couple episodes, I don't know how long this has been going on. There's been no audio and you guys haven't said nothing. So I had to fix it. So now it's game audio. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's fight some team skull guys. We, I'm pretty sure we take this bus up and then we just, I think we have to do like a little thing with like charger bugs or something. We have to like find a bunch of them. And I think we kind of just go into the totem battle. I don't think there's really much going on in between. There might be some trainers on that route. I kind of want to fight a couple of them. <sighs> I'm Polion. I'm thunder waving you. You're going to be a pain. And I just don't want to deal with you. I'm thunder waving you. You're annoying. You're annoying. Swagger. See what I mean? He's annoying. Annoying Pokemon. Annoying Pokemon. But you are paralyzed. So I'm going to go for Flame Charger. My plus two. It'll be neutral. You're not going to have anything to hit me with, really. And if I don't hit myself, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brine. That does nothing. I was going to say, maybe if I hit myself with Confusion and got below half, Brine might do damage. But we're fine. We're just going to hit you again. We're not going to hit ourselves. See? 
called it. Me and me and Dragonite, we get along. But I am a little worried that if this totem battle is like a really dangerous Pokemon that Dragonite can't just like 1v1, then I could be in trouble. What can I hit right now? I have Flying, Ice, and Fire. I can hit Steel types. Fire resists both Fire and Ice, so Fire types are kind of a problem. Speak of the devil. Fire types are a bit of a problem. I'm going to flame charge against you because you should be faster than me. You light screen. Kind of a silly play. Uh, but And you're frailless sin, so I'm not worried about you. Yeah. I think I... Nah, I just go crash. This is going to KO. But it'll do a nice chunk. It'll do a nice chunk. So fire types, I kind of don't do great against. And Oblivion... Because Oblivion Wing can hit fire types. My special attack's not, like, phenomenal. I can see what... Hmm. Trying to remember if I had any TMs, that'd be good. So see, fire types, I mean, I have Gigalith and I have Chandelure for fire types. I guess it's not really that big of a deal. What is my team? Uh, minus Whalmer and Tynamo, because they don't really count. What is my team bad against? Ground is scary. Like a Mammal Swine would be terrifying. Mammal Swine would be terrible. Um. Hmm. Let me look at my TMs. I'm gonna look at my TMs see if I get some better coverage. Mammoth Wine could be super terrifying. So like a fighting move would be good. I don't think I have any fighting moves on anybody. Let me let me see. Let me check real quick. Let me check my TMs. Techno Blast. I could put that on. I just still have no drives though. Stab Corn Forcer. Close combat, but no one can learn it. Yeah. Mm, not much. Not much of anything. Oh, do I have to fight Mulane? I might have to fight Mulane before I do it. If I do that, that should give me some good experience. I might do that. That might be the play. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling unsure of anything right now. So let's see what happens. You going to show me the mountain? You going to show me the mountain with the Ligas? Yeah. Check it out, Breezy. Everything in the shadows. Everything that the sun touches is ours. See that steep, jutting, majestic peak? Is that what I said? It's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in all Oh, yeah? Sorry, I'm talking too much. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's uh let's heal up. Let's check out this store. Let's see what's going on here. What do you got for me? Uh, ghost gem assault. I have an assault vest. Ooh, I should put the assault vest on somebody. Ooh, I should put the assault vest on somebody. I feel like I... Did I remember getting an Assault Vest? Did I like just get it? I must have. No, I've had it for a while. What do I put it on? Probably Ava, right? Make you bulky as sin. Or Skittles. Skittles. It could help Skittles become a little better. Mm, Ava's slower, though. I don't really want to be taking hits with... I don't really want to take hits with Chandelier at all. Spell tag that could help my hexes do a little more damage. Uh, oh, Rocky Helmet could be good on the other guy, too. Mm. I didn't realize protective pads was this gen. I'm gonna put that on, I'm gonna put the spooky plate, boost your hexes, I guess. Assault vest. Do I have, I think I have only attacks. Oh, did I get. Do I have, like, Thunder Wave or something on you? Do you have something that's a non-attacking move? Stealth Rocks. I was going to say, I was like, I thought I got something. So let's give you something other than Stealth Rocks. Because you can't use it. Or I could just... Crunch could be good. 
Smackdown would have been kind of nice. Wait, I have Rock Slide or something, right? Mm, I guess Crunch. Eh, I'll keep I'll keep Stealth Rocks for now. I'll keep Stealth Rocks for now. I'm going to lead with you. I don't remember if you fight Malayne before this or not. I feel like you do. Because he's right here. I think you fight him. I feel like I remember that being like a shock. Maybe you fight him right after. It might be after. I can't remember. The diff the small difference the small differences between this and the first one, like Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. Oh, he just gives you a Steel MZ. Do you not fight him at all? But these small differences, I keep forgetting which one is which. And it's kind of messing me up. It's kind of messing me up. So we're not fighting. Okay. So we just go inside. What happened to the charger bug thing? I am there they are. Oh, they must it must be after this. Okay. I'm almost positive you have to go outside and like find them. Or is that the first one? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It's locked. Do I go to the store? Where the charger bug? Malayne City Adam. Right? Uh, okay. I think we go outside now. We have to find all the charger bug. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm lost in the sauce, guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I just did a long stream for Friday. And just finished it up and realized that, like, on the last hour of it that I hadn't done this video yet. So I was like, damn, I gotta go record a video after this. I'm gonna be in shambles. I'm gonna be way too drained for it. But here we are, nonetheless. Let me put my glasses on because I haven't had them on this whole playthrough. Let's go find them in this grass. They're on these things, right? Yeah. Mm -mm. Easy peasy. Easy pee. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's one that's like, I'm pretty sure it shows in the background, like the mimic you. Yeah. Remember the, I remember that. I remember that, but I don't remember which game it was. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my Lanta. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we go in. So this is the one with the bugs where you put them in the, on the patterns on the thing. You gotta make a Z with it and everything. I'm remembering. But yeah, so this week on stream, for the live streams, we did, uh, for every gifted sub, you can vote for a game for me to play on Friday. Uh, this week, we ended up with 100 total subs, which if we hit 100 subs, I do an eight-hour stream. Uh, if it's less than 100 subs, whatever the... If we get one gifted sub and it's for one game, that game will be what I play on Friday. But if you put five gifted subs in and you get five votes for something and someone puts one in for this, someone puts five in for something else, so on and so forth, and someone puts 100 in for something else, I do a wheel spin, and the amount of votes you did is the amount of chance that you have to win. You know, that many votes overall. And it's a wheel spin, basically a raffle. And this week we got a ROM hack suggestion from my boy Schwartz for Pokemon Black Pearl Emeralds. It's kind of like a Radical Redis, Radical Reddish game where, you know, there's all the Pokemon are in the game. Um, way more difficult battles and more strategic you know, gyms and stuff, and just overall, it's just more difficult. It has a built-in Nuzlocke mode, which is what we were doing. I played it for just under five hours today. Um, we did a little bit of Ironmon, and then we did five hours of that game, and it was really fun. Really enjoyed it. Oh, I'm still leading with Gigalith, aren't I? Can I switch? I don't think I can switch. That's okay. That's okay. Gigalith's weak to, like, what? Water, grass, ground, fighting, and Dragonite's a perfect switch into that. Steel too. Oh. Um. Ooh. I have the AV, but I kind of don't like this. I kind of don't like this. What do I go into, though? Do I go Skittles? Skittles and Flame Burst? 
or hex. I have the spooky plate. Hex is probably better. That's pretty okay on this, right? What's he gonna go for? Going for a double team. Gross. Gross. I didn't want to be just click wrong slide and stuff and be missing. And I'm leading with the big damage. I'm leading with uh Gigalith too, so I don't really want him getting chipped down. Because I don't think I have a chance to switch him out before the totem battle. Okay, that's free. Thank you. Thank you for not doing anything. Mwah. Smooches wrote him. Appreciate you giving me the free KO. Um, mm -mm -mm. uh, what was I saying? Oh, Pokemon Black Pearl. Yeah, so it's a built-in Nuzlocke and you know all these things. We got to this. We beat two gyms. We just got to the city where like Watson's at. Um, we haven't battled Watson yet, but I was getting pretty exhausted by that point. Just you know, I did two hours of Iron Man and then five hours of that. I was just getting kind of fried, which is where I'm at right now. I'm very fried. So this is a scary episode. This could go horribly wrong. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed it. I definitely want to finish playing through it and maybe it might be a YouTube series in the future. Um, after this, a lot of people have been telling me about Emerald Sea Glass, which sounds like a really good game. And I might do that for a YouTube playthrough. Might not be a Nuzlocke, might just be kind of a playthrough. Uh, I kind of like when I did Yellow Legacy, I Nuzlocked it because I didn't think it was supposed to be that difficult, but I did get kind of caught off guard with how difficult it was. I have Megahorn for this, so I'm not scared about it. Umbreon's trash. Um, it probably won't die, though. But it did. Wow. I feel like Umbreon never gets one shot. Uh, but Yellow Legacy, I kind of... I mean, I like the fact that I Nuzlocked it. Um, it just... We kind of just got caught off guard with a rival battle. I think if we had got past that rival battle, we would have been pretty good for a while. Um, but... How do I do this one again? Like this? Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. We gotta get you into this corner, and then we do this. Yeah. Uh, but for this next, so I think I'm gonna do this. Yellow Legacy was a Nuzlocke. We ended up losing it. Like I said, we got kind of caught off guard. We probably could have beaten that game if we just didn't get caught off guard in that battle with the Alakazam just destroying us. And then this is a Nuzlocke we're doing. So I think for the next game, I think a ROM hack, no Nuzlocke, will be a good change of pace. Just kind of get a good playthrough. The Emerald Sea Glass, look, I think it has all the Pokemon in it. It has, you know, like a ton of quality of life features. And I've been hearing a ton of great things about it. So I think that might be the next playthrough. Um, okay, this is kind of perfect timing we got as far as episode length. I feel like this is kind of perfect. Worked out, worked out phenomenally. Big old Toga Tomorrow, look at you go. Imagine it was actually a Toga Tomorrow. Imagine. That'd be a terrible lead for me, because I'm leading with a rock type that only has like rock moves and like an ice move or something in Megahorn. I can't hit a steel type. I can't hit a Charizard though. <laughs> what do I have? Do I have rock slide? D wait, what what just raised? I didn't see what stat raised. Hold up. I'm not really worried about that. What are you gonna have? You're not gonna be able to touch me. Plus two defense. You're level 40? There's no way you're going to die. You might die. You might. There's no way you die. Plus two defense. Now you might die. It's four defense effective. Giggles is strong. Nope. Oh my god, that did nothing. And you have a... Oh, I'm done for. I lost. I've lost. What is the Elga's moveset? He gets, like, his moveset's nutty. The Elga's moveset's not fair. He gets some crazy stuff. Gen 7. What level is he? 38. Aura Sphere, Earth Power, Dragon Claw, Metal Burst. 
Earth Power kills Gigalith and Chandelier. Or Sphere kills Gigalith. He could go for either one, I guess, right now. Earth Power's stronger, so he goes for Earth Power. I can't really go Dragonite. He has dra he's not going to go for Dragon Claw. I don't really have anything on Dragonite to hit this, though. Fafsa can't take a fire move. Skip. I have the AV. Non stab earth power. Rockside can't kill, though, and it's split damage now. I don't think I die unless Charizard has something else. Oh, that's actually. I'm going to die now. Dragon Rage. If he didn't have Dragon Rage, I think I live that. I think I live that if he doesn't have Dragon Rage. Because his other attack was doing like 15 damage. Um, Glaciate. Corn for Glaciate. Do I slow him down? Charizard lies faster than Dragonite, 100%. Oh, no. Dragonite can't kill. It's plus two defense Charizard. I lost. I think I lose. I think I lose. Is this real life? I just had a long day. I definitely lose. Corn Force is not going to do enough. I can't just hex the Charizard. I. I don't know. I have the spooky play. Do I just get as much damage off on the Charizard as possible? Because if I can, no, I can't one v one it with. I can't one v one the Dialga with my Amoongus. I don't have like Leech Seed or nothing. I can't 1v1 it with Dragonite. Corn Force hits both, right? It does. If I hex the Charizard, let me check Charizard Y. I cannot believe this right now, man. What is this? Charizard Y. Special Defense is 115. I think I glaciate. I glaciate. I hope I don't die. Dragon Rage. Yep. He's gonna Earth Power kill me. You're faster than me. Never mind. Dialg is faster than me. I got outsped and died. GG's. GG's. I lose. 100%. There's no way I win this. T Wave. I think T Wave. T Wave Dialga. You can I mean, Dragon Rage does damage. That did a lot. You're faster than me. You're faster than my whole team. I lose. I think I still lose. I'm 99% sure I still, this is just over. We do have the leftovers. Okay. We start sacrificing. Okay. Let's, let's get lucky. I don't think I could beat, how do I beat this? I don't think even if I like had instead of him, if I had someone else besides the Tynamo and the Whalemer on the team, I don't think it even matters. I think it's just over. I have to try keeping the other guys alive. Um, Pi, sorry, bud. Um, Max Potion. Okay, Max Potion. That's amazing. Yep. Bye bye. I'm going to need some extremely, extremely, extremely lucky paralysis turns on Dialga. Like, a lot. I'm going to Thunder Wave Charizard, too. I'm going to need to get, oh, Dragon Rage plus Dragon Walk kills me 100%. But I outspeed. If I, <laughs> if I somehow make it out of this, Metal Burst. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, now. Icicle Crash flinches. This is my only, this is my only, only path to victory that I see. You're kidding me. Okay. 
Afsa has toxic growth pain attack. You die to a flame burst, like any day of the week. I switch into you. If I make it out of this, bro, I'm <laughs> I'm dead. Why would you click flame burst there? Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. There's no no combination of any Pokemon I've seen this entire game beats this combination of Pokemon I'm going with. A plus two physical defense Charizard just destroys me. Healing doesn't even matter. I need like double powers. I have to flinch on the Dialga, I think. If I flinch you and get a para on... <laughs> it's over. Well, this was a good run, guys. It was fun. Bye. That That's insane. That's insane. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't think even if I was over-leveled for that, I'm winning that. Unless Gigalith was like 45 or like 43 and landed back-to-back -back rock slides on the Charizard. I don't think there's any way I win that. I even had the AV on. I got, I, that was luck that I even had the AV on and it didn't matter. Earth power, Dialga does so much damage. I don't think there's anything I do. I could even be like doing differently to make that matter. I was on par with levels. It was level 40 and 38. I was 36 or 38. The Dialga, I think it was 38. 38, 36, 38, 38. I'm right on power levels. I was not over leveled. You died a flame burst. You died a flame burst. I don't. Gastrodon, you're not going to be doing enough damage. I mean, with the drizzle, you could weaken the fire. But Dragon Rage was going to eat me, like just destroy you. This Dragon Claw, freaking Earth Power, I wasn't going to do enough damage. Nope. Shedinja, nope. Nope. There's, there's nothing. There was nothing that was going to work there, man. I don't know if you had a flying move. Did you have a flying move? You're frail, though. You're not that strong. You're not that bulky. Man, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. That was just the craziest combination of Pokemon I think I've ever seen in my life. That is so unlucky. After a long day like this, this is how it's going to end. Ah. <sighs> That's how it goes. Well, I guess Emerald Sea Glass is coming up next. I think that's the one we're going to play. Give me some suggestions if you guys have any other suggestions of what you guys would like to see. We've been talking about a couple different things for YouTube. I was not planning on making the decision so quickly, but this was just a horrible set of encounters. We had no real good Pokemon this whole time. I mean, Dragonite's great. Celebi's mid. Meloetta was extra mid. I don't think there's anything I did differently. Let me see Charizard's last move. He had what? Dragon Rage, Flame Burst. I think those are the only two moves he clicked. Did he click anything else? I didn't even look at his moveset. Learn set, Gen 7. Flame Burst, Fire Fang. Scary Face, Dragon Rage. Okay, so just Fire and Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is just so annoying. So I'm not like at a crazy high level where 40 HP is still not a third of all my HP. Like 40 damage? Besides from this, but this is weak to fire, it's a third of my HP every single time. And then with a Dialga next to it, that's crazy. I'm going to look at the abilities of... Um, I do have the file for it. I want to look at the abilities. Charizard. Charizard Y had Marvel scale. I wonder... Can I see who the, will it show me who the Totemons are? I don't think it will. Togemaru, it turns into, it doesn't tell me what the ability is. It gives me the plus two defense. The other ally would have been Incineroar, which was pretty much just as toxic. Necrozma. <laughs> Necrozma, Duskmane, and Duskwing would have been Chikorita and Registeel. The Ultra Necrozma would have been a Kamo'o with plus one everything. That would have been a problem. 
Oh, it doesn't tell me what ability it has, but Charizard Y, his ability was, um, wait, was it Marvel or Multiscale? Because Marvel Scale. Okay, never mind. Well, no, that makes sense. Marvel Scale increases your defense when you're status. So I Thunder Waved him and then Icicle crashed and did this much damage. That makes sense. All right, Dialga. Let me see you. Contrary, Swift Swim, Desolate Land. All right, Contrary doesn't really matter. I mean, unless I tried to lower his stats. But, man, that sucks. That was a good run. That was a good run. I mean, that's just wild. When you start getting into the randomizer of the newer games, it's just more and more options for some crazy Pokemon to go, you know, out of control. But thank you guys for coming through. Leave a like and a comment. Leave some nicknames. Let me know what game you would like to see me play next. Emerald Sea Glass is one of my top options. Uh, potentially, I play the Black Pearl, the one I just started on stream today. Maybe I try to do a playthrough of that for stream. I mean, for um, try to do like a normal playthrough of that for the uh, for the YouTube. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.